We are now ready to connect our 3-in-1 gauge to our fuse box. We have a red wire which goes directly to a constant 12 volt source. You can connect it right directly to the positive side of the battery, making sure that there's a fuse within 6 inches of the battery itself, or you can connect it to the fuse box at any constant 12 volt source using an ADA circuit, which is how we're going to do it today. You also have a white wire which connects to an ignition switched voltage that generally you can connect right to like the radio fuse or any other source that turns on and off with the key itself. We also have a black ground wire which you can connect to any unpainted metal surface underneath the dash like a metal bracket holding the dash up. What we have here is we have this red wire that's coming from our 3-in-1 gauge up on the dash. We're going to route it around to the fuse box itself. We have our ADA circuit that comes equipped with the crimp on connector. Push on the wire and simply encrypt it. We've already done this process with our white wire. Now that we have our ADA circuits connected to the wires, you want to go ahead and find a source. The easiest way to do that is with a multimeter. Turn the multimeter onto voltage, take the black lead, go to a good ground source, and take the red lead and touch the fuses. You want to see 12 volts appear on the multimeter itself. You'll notice that there is a couple of fuses that have 12 volts. And then there's some fuses that don't have any voltage. We're going to be using this 10 amp fuse here. It shows 12.15 when connected to the multimeter. That's the one that we're going to connect our red wire to. Over here, we have a fuse that is showing zero voltage when the key is off. When we go ahead and turn on the key, you'll see that the voltage will go up to 12, which is making it an ignition hot source. This 10 amp fuse here is what we're going to be using for our switch 12 volt source with the white wire. What we're going to do is turn off the key from the vehicle and remove our fuses from the fuse box. Simply pull the 10 amp fuse out for the constant 12 volt source. Take the red wire, push the 10 amp fuse you've removed from the fuse box into the ADA circuit itself. There's an open port available on the ADA circuit. Make sure it's pushed in all the way. Simply reinstall the ADA circuit into the open location on the fuse box. Do the same step for our, our switched source for the white wire. Now that we have the power and the switched source connected to the fuse box, we're going to run our ground wire. You can connect it to any good ground source underneath the dash. Usually a main bracket for the dash assembly is good. We're going to connect it to this bolt right here. Simply remove the bolt. Now that we have our ground connected, we are ready to finish connecting our gauge to the vehicle itself. We're now getting ready to install our gauge mounting pod onto our A-pillar trim here in our truck. What we're going to do is we're going to remove these little covers on the grab handle itself. Once we have the covers out, you can take your 8mm wrench and remove the bolts that hold the grab handle on. Now that we have our grab handle removed, we can go ahead and mount up our single pillar pot.
I'm going to put it right down here in place, kind of line it up with the grab handle mounting opening. When that's lined up, you can go ahead and put your grab handle back in place. And reinstall your screws. Now that we have our grab handle back in place, we're ready to root the wires up to the pod itself. You pull them through. Reinstall your weather stripping. Install the trim caps. We've already ran the wires for our 3 1 temperature combo gauge through the firewall up to our mounting gauge pot. What we're going to do is we're going to plug in all the harnesses to the back of the gauge. You'll notice that the upper left plug is for the power. The upper right plug is the black connector for the boost. The lower left plug is the yellow plug for EGT. The lower right is the blue plug for temperature. Mm -hmm. We're going to plug in the harnesses to the back of the gauge. Then we're going to secure the gauge into the mounting pod itself. When we turn on the vehicle, you'll notice that it does a startup sequence. You push the button on the front and it allows you to change the color to your desired color selection. When you turn off the vehicle, and we'll do a shutdown sequence. When you turn back on the vehicle, it will do a startup sequence and be on the color that you had last set it on. We're now ready to start the vehicle and check the operation of the gauge itself. We have now completed the gauge install for our 3-in-1 temperature combo gauge. Please check us out at www.glowshiftdirect.com.